Hey, beautiful souls, beautiful sunshine here with the R Holistic Killer, aka Sonia B. So I am back with this prophetic message. Um, it's going to be important to stick around to the very end because I actually have a Bible scripture that I'm going to say before I give you this message and how it plays a part in the message, okay? Um, some of you guys may receive, you may have received some pivotal information last night pertaining to yourself um, in regards to certain situations, should I say. Um, but with that being said, um, just stick around to the very end, okay? Okay, because they all tie back together to uh, in some way, shape, or form. Then I also have a channel message that I also received as well too. Um, after waking up, um, you know, as I was getting dressed. Okay. So anyway, so with that being said, the um, the Bible verse is Hebrews six and ten. Okay, that was the scripture that God gave me this morning. Thank you, Spirit. So with that being said, it says God is not unjust. Okay, He is not unjust. He will not forget your work. So anything that he has asked you to do, remember faith without works is not, is dead, okay? So we can talk all day long what it is that we're doing. It's a matter of doing. And if you're not doing, then it's, it's frivolous, okay? So with that being said, um, faith without works, I'm sorry, he will not forget your work, excuse me, and the love that you have shown him as you have helped his people and continue to help them okay so whether you're somebody who um is on you know uh social media and you're helping other people okay and i we all know that you know some of us have dealt with very harsh situations pertaining to you know enemies and so on and so on um honestly now it's just like i'm not gonna say that it's water under the bridge but it's just like okay like you know that's why god said expect the unexpected back before the new year had rolled in okay so with that being said um basically he has he has not forgotten about you he has not forgotten about everything that you have been through okay but the prophetic message that i receive and how it ties into this message is um last night in a dream i dreamed as if i was being chased right sometimes dreams excuse me where people are being chased and you're being chased and you don't see anything right that means you're usually running from your yourself okay so in this dream, I didn't see anybody that was particularly chasing me. So take it how it resonates because some of you guys may have had a dream to where somebody's actually chasing you and you can literally see them chasing you. And in that instance, that could be a situation of you're dealing with a situation of, um, let's just say, undercover frenemies in a sense um and how maybe like whether it's this lifetime or whether in a past life thank you spirit <laughs> whether this lifetime or in a past lifetime um they actually kind of like i know some of you guys have already went through this situation should i say where you had like frenemies kind of tormenting you in some sort of way or even if it's a family member frenemies co-workers boss supervisor take it how it resonates because it comes in all different shapes of form okay um so with that being said some of you may find yourself in a situation that this is actually happening and then some of you may find yourself in a situation that god is revealing to you a past life situation that you have dealt with with people okay and i give an example so like myself uh in other words like um god had revealed to me like why i don't necessarily uh care about friendship relationships should i say in a sense not saying that i don't want them but it doesn't matter to me whether I have them or not in a sense. And it's almost like God was trying to say, okay, you got to get out of this cycle, okay? So with that being said, it's like you're meant to do something different in this lifetime. And I'm just explaining it to you. So if you've had, and I'm giving you the example. So like my instance, like I said, it was pertaining to friends because God had actually revealed to me not only, you know, certain things to where why you had allowed yourself to become in a place of uh, staying to yourself in a sense. And he had revealed that to me. So in this lifetime, you know, some of you guys were meant to, like whatever your situation or whatever it is that your circumstances that you're trying to or work through is like whatever it is that god is revealing to you in some instance like i said some people will be finding themselves experiencing this where other people will be finding themselves things will be revealing to it's almost thank you spirit i'm hearing spirit say like key these are like some key um points in your life to help unlock the door to help you to understand why you have been a little stuck in certain situations okay and with that being said when it why it's being revealed so take whichever situation scenario that it may applies to you in you know um if you had not had a dream let's just say the other situation may apply to you but then for those who had a dream it's almost like it's revealing to you some pivotal information from your past okay of what you were meant to correct and heal in this lifetime 
So with that being said, um, so basically, yeah, um, I was being chased in a dream by like some quote unquote friends. And then it's almost like we were sitting in like a mall parking lot. So it was different scenarios. That situation being chased, didn't see anybody. And then it was a situation of being like in a mall parking lot. And let's just say, imagine like people are outside. Let's just say you dance and thank you spirit. You dancing outside your car, right? You know, like how we would probably do in like the, the late eighties and the early nineties, you dance outside your car to the music. And then all of a sudden somebody's like, okay, tag you in last one in the car stinks or whatever you know kind of like that it was a situation like that so we all ran to the, towards the car for some particular reason i was like the last one to even get in the car but i never made it to the car because it's like everybody else jumped into the car and then they drove off and they thought it was funny in a sense okay so with that being said i mean that's enough situations that those are things that thank you spirit those are things that can build up in your dna system that will allow that just keep stacking stuff on top of stuff so therefore it starts to become your reality in a sense okay so with that being said it skipped to another scene to where it was just revealing to me again yet another situation i was like with two other people and we were supposed and it, it i kind of got the feeling like we was running from something again we were running from something so all three situations the dream was about running okay so we was running from something then we ran into like this build i was like come on y'all let's go here so it's almost like i gave them the suggestion of running into this building that was like a rest restaurant slash bar right so when we got inside it's almost like I don't know if I want to say the owner or whoever the person may have been, the manager, supervisor, whoever it was at the time. It's almost like for some particular reason, he told me that I had to leave, but he told everybody else that they could stay. So he was singling me out yet again. Okay. So I had to leave and I left and I was like, kind of like by myself in a sense, but then someone had it. So, and then we switched scenes again after that. Okay. So this next time I was with a, another friend I felt like we I was with another friend and for some particular reason um it's almost like um how can I say it we started running I was like hey let's run over here in a sense so I was trying to get near a bridge for some particular reason that was like near water in a sense but with that being said and that's where the dream basically ended at okay so with that being said because all this running 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 and feel like you're being chased 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 sometimes like I said it started off in the beginning where again if you're having a dream to where somebody is chasing you in a dream but you don't see that person usually that means you're running from your higher self okay um and your higher self is trying to get you in a place in a position to where get you on your path and get you to head in the right direction okay and for those of you people who seem like you have actually being chased by somebody but even in instance there seemed like the second dream was about chasing excuse me being chased but again seeing no one there as well again and then as well as when we were standing outside the car dancing and then everybody ran towards the car nothing was chasing us there again and it's just like there was nothing chasing us there but again that's a representation of your higher self okay so anyway so to make a long story short short <laughs> excuse me so here's uh the message that i received um so again just keep in mind that some people may find themselves at uh about to experience the situation and again as i said before for those people who actually had a dream it's a situation of god is revealing some information to you from your past life or why you're possibly the way that you are like right now for us needing to release that stagnant energy is what i'm hearing thank you spirit so some of the messages that i received was um okay some of the messages i received was one it says you have been set free already okay so i told you last week that those chains were loose you know and some people have acted on that in a sense of knowing that they're free okay so if you know that you're free you're not bound there's nothing holding you back but yourself okay and then the other the other one was uh the other one i'm sorry y'all bear with me because it's all crambled up in the corner <laughs> so anyway so just know that you are free and because you're free there's nothing holding you back but you okay and then um i also i'm trying to stay understand my right and bear with me and then it says god is trying to get you back to your true nature of who you are which is an empathetic person so some of you guys have built up walls you have built up towers to keep people out in a sense in whatever shape or form and i say all that to say that you know these because you have been on this journey of let's just say um everything that you thought you wanted in life you realize that you did not want in life after you had actually experienced life so again whether it be a situation of material possession whether it be a particular type of you know you a person have a particular type of um 
how can I say it? For his relationship wise, you have a particular type of person that you're interested in. You know, everything that looks look like it's glitter is not gold in a sense. So if you learned from that situation, then you learned from the situation of, you know, not being your true authentic self. You learn from situations of wearing false masks because basically God has basically sent people into your life who has basically mirrored back to you exactly how you have been behaving in a sense. And for those people who have not caught in that, so in other words, if you come and ask, acting like a sense of entitlement then there were people that were sent into your life that also act like they were uh was meant to have a, a sense of entitlement okay in other words putting themselves up on the pedestal while making you feel bad okay it was designed for a reason because they were supposed to mirror back to you exactly how you had been behaving okay and then um i also receive uh and, and, and thank you, Spirit. And also with recognizing the fact that we aren't always right about situations, okay? And that's why I told you that I can sit here and say I know a whole lot about nothing, okay? You know, but I can definitely say that whatever God reveals to me, you know, we can study all day long. We can be that bookatarian all day long. But the matter, the point of the matter is, you know, do you have divine knowledge? Do you have divine wisdom? That's what's important, okay? And I'm not saying that people's degrees are frivolous or they don't matter. That's not what I'm saying. But there's a separation and there's a difference between earthly plane as well as spiritual plane, okay? And you can't necessarily compare certain information to spiritual knowledge, okay? Um, because this information is coming from the most high, okay? So anyway, so just, you know, if some of you guys haven't recognized by now that you aren't always right, okay? And, and um, you know, and like I said, including myself as well too, okay? So I was the first one to say that. But anyway, but just knowing that... Um, Sometimes there's always another perspective rather than just your perspective, okay? And then I also have, bear with me, y'all. I'm trying to read this cramped up stuff in the corner. Oh, and then Spirit also revealed to me too that some of you guys have come to the realization that you have recognized your connection with other people. And not only that, but you have recognized your love with uh your divine counterparts okay the same two people now this message isn't for everybody because everybody may not be at this stage in this phase in their life but with that being said um recognizing the love for each other and then i also received the message was but have you come to the conclusion of making your wrongs right okay so if there's a situation with your divine counterpart if for those people who already know who their divine counterparts are the situation is about maturity okay so remember faith without works is dead okay so and remember that when god sees you okay thank you spirit because the way god gave this to me earlier was it was as if like okay so we can go to god and say you know what god i apologize i apologize for doing this 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 this, this and that okay but god is also saying too like you know and this this message is not for for this message is not for every situation this message is only for those people who know who their again their divine counterparts are or whether it's a situation of um a connection that was how can i say it i don't know if i want to say a connection that's because this can be soulmates too meaning like it can be the same uh same um you know it come in a male or female form it could be strictly platonic in a sense of just allowing people to really experience like and realize their faults and how you know they had thank you spirit is what i'm hearing is like prejudge somebody else because they didn't make the same choices that you made in life okay you know thinking that they were supposed to move how you move that they were supposed to do the things that you did they were supposed to accumulate the wealth that you know how you accumulated the wealth and they were supposed to work hard and and not saying that we're not supposed to work hard but you know certain people you know that message didn't apply to let's just say outside forces it was meant to apply to inwardly meaning like whether it was create a business or whatever you know and again that message doesn't apply to everyone but i'm just saying giving an example you know, and God has spoken to those people. Thank you, Spirit. God has spoken to those people who were meant to do so. Okay. But anyway, um, what else was it? So again, the question was, have you made your wrongs right? So in other words, 
due to past life oh, okay due to past life situations that god are revealing so the question is like god may have revealed some things to you of how you were in a past life let's just say in a past life like you was almost like gangster type and i said to say that you were so used to taking harm and stealing from other people in some sort of way like let's just say each lifetime it was something different so in this lifetime you was meant to do something different as an example so the thing is if you hurt, harm, and injure somebody in a past life, it's almost like in this life, you were meant to do the opposite. You were meant to come in a position or from a standpoint of like, okay, you know what? If I hurt somebody in this lifetime, let me make it right. Especially those people. And I'm not talking about this is pertaining to the situation of your frenemies or the people who you thought were so-called, the people that you put up on a pedestal. Thank you, spirit. I'm not talking about the people that you put up on a pedestal. I'm talking about the people that you gave a hard time to, the people that you, you know, suppressed in a sense. And what I'm saying is like somebody like putting their foot on somebody's neck in a sense like no like i'm right you're wrong and you should do things my way in a sense um you like like those people but now it's like those same very people that you gave a hard time to it's almost like those same very people that you actually need in your life now you're realizing that you need so the question is and the question is is have you made your wrongs right okay and I may make that the topic. I'm not sure. But anyway, but have you made your wrong right? So again, have you apologized for, you know, um, maybe being the way that you have been? Have you apologized for, you know, uh, maybe talking down to someone? Have you apologized to, you know, I mean, I'm just, I'm just hearing what's coming to mind. Name calling. Have you apologized to, you know, in situations of just, you know, I mean, whatever it could be, because it could be different. Everybody's situation is different, okay? Thank you, spirit. So anyway, the question is, have you made your wrongs right? Okay? So anyway, um, moving on. And then it says, have you apologized for your actions or your behavior, as I said before? You know, the things that you were wrong for. So I say all that to say, again, we can go to God all day long, but, you know, just, just as much as... Okay, so let me say it like this, okay? So God's chosen ones, okay, because they are like the heart of God, okay, they have the heart of God. The, the point of the matter I'm trying to make is if you have offended them or someone who is a chosen child of God, okay, well, I say all that to say if you have offended them in some sort of way, okay, the point is did you make your wrongs right? Because when you apologize to them, you're also apologizing to God, okay? So I hope that makes sense, okay? So there's a scripture in the Bible too that says, you know, I can't remember it offhand, but if you Google it, you'll find it that, you know, um, basically as people do unto my prophet, what is it? Touch not my anointing, do my prophets no harm. But then there's another scripture that talks about, I'm sorry, forgive me. Oh, there's another scripture. There's another scripture that talks about how when do unto my prophets thank you spirit thank you spirit thank you holy spirit do unto my prophet as 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 you would do unto me okay <laughs> thank you spirit <laughs> oh my god i love spirit thank you so much thank you thank you thank you for coming through with that message anyway so but yes yeah, so you have to keep that in mind too so when you are making your wrongs right with people this is all a part of the maturity process okay so you know a mature person would go to the extent of knowing that you know what hey i've wronged this person let me make my wrongs right well hey let me apologize about this because i see i wasn't right in that situation and oh my god i'm hearing spirits say those are more when you do that and you step into that type of power oh my god like that's power that's adding more power to you i'm sorry y'all my eyes was bucking because i'm hearing spirit say like that's helping you to step into your power even more and all i see is somebody just going like this um you know their hands like like this stepping into their power in a sense because i'm i'm getting like that's opening up their heart okay that's that's opening up their heart space even more, okay? That's allowing more space to come in. And with that being said, that increases your personal power, okay? I'm not talking about ego power. I'm talking about God's power, okay? Thank you, Spirit. So, yeah, so keep that in mind, too. It's all a part of the maturity process. So when you stepped up to the plate, as I said before, faith without works are dead so in other words we could say all day long of oh lord i want this or oh lord i want that okay well god is testing you and say okay well how bad do you want this well not so no, i mean we shouldn't want for anything like that but okay lord 
um, I mean, and the Lord is saying to you, okay, you saying that you want this, but now what are you going to do to fix this? Or what are you going to do? Or how do you want this? Because if you want this, you will do what's necessary in order to um, make it right in a sense. Okay. And again, everybody's situation is different. So anyway, um, one, starting with, I'm hearing spirit say, realizing that you were wrong for certain things. So the, the first signs to healing, I'm hearing spirit say, the first, the first signs to healing is just admitting, admitting that you were wrong about something, okay? Whatever it is that you need to admit about, okay? I don't want to speculate because everybody's situation is different. And then it also says... Oh, okay, then... Um, I also wrote down, um, just like, well, I already said this, just like when you go to God and you say, I'm sorry for this, 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 and that, or whatever. So it's almost like, again, you're making your wrong right with those, your divine counterpart or your uh, situation or relationship, should I say, that's being fixed. Uh, you know, basically just realizing that your way wasn't always the right way, in other words. Okay, so bear with me, y'all. I'm almost to the end. Oh my God, person is saying that they... Okay, so I think I covered that part. Okay, and then so I also... Yeah, there was also another situation too of being chased up into a tree. I realized I didn't even wrote this part down. I, there was also another situation of being chased up into a tree as well too. Okay, so anyway, that's a situation that uh, obviously some people need to hear. And like I said before, there could be some situations of people experiencing this situation. And there have been some people who've already experienced this situation. But this is a message that basically appearing in, in dream state and is giving you some information again towards your past of, you know, like how you were or how you behaved in a past uh, life. Okay, and I, when I say past life, talking about the maybe several different lifetimes before this lifetime, you know, so all that energy is stored up into a person's DNA. DNA. And as it's stored up into a person's DNA, we then keep repeating the same old cycle, same old cycle, same old cycles. And I give an example, whether it be a situation of whether it be like drinking, smoking, porn, or a situation of, you know, having a lack mentality, or whether it be a situation of, you know, needing to, um, needing to, uh, what's the word when we, over, over it's, over excessive thank you spirit <laughs> you heard the noise right over excessive with things you know like when we feel like we need to uh i don't know if i want to say um you know just doing things over excessively okay so anyway and then i had one last dream and then this dream came in a form of as if like my neighbor was pulling out her one of my neighbors not the one that gave me so much of a problem but the other one on the other side of me but basically like she was pulling her mattress out of her house. So I'm hearing that maybe some of you guys need to change your mattresses. And the reason why this could be is because look at it like this. So everything kind of has stored up energy into it, okay? And it just depends, stored up energy. So it's because it's a mattress and we sleep on it. Sometimes let's just say like if you've had several different relationships and you've had intimacy on that mattress in a sense, and let's just say that stored up energy there. So some of you guys may be asked to get rid of your mattresses and purchase another one. I know that can be costly. I know it can be a lot, but it's being asked to be done and it's being asked to be done for a reason because thank you, spirit. I'm hearing spirit say it's defiled. Okay. It's defiled. Okay. It is not me judging. This is is what I'm hearing because um, anything that is not on a marriage bed, should I say, it's considered defiled in a sense. So therefore, if you have past lovers or past romantic partners, however you want to look at it, and it's been a revolving door, should I say, let's just say that that master just has a lot of stored up energy in it. And if you want to get rid of that energy and that mindset and, and um, release that energy in a sense, you have to get rid of the... Um, it's almost like trauma in the mattress is what I'm hearing. In order to get rid of, the, well, it's not going to completely get rid of the trauma, but that's a start that helps to release you from some of that energy in a sense, if that makes sense, okay? So again, it's almost like the, the marriage bed is considered defiled. So for those people who are coming into, let's just say, divine counterparts, divine relationships, you know, and even if you were being asked to just, okay, 
be celibate at this time or, uh, or or practice abstinence or whatever the case may be, okay? Everybody's situation may be different. One may be asked to get rid of that mattress for a reason, okay? Um, again, like I said, it's stored up energy in that mattress. And in order to heal, part of the healing process is you have to get rid of things that you were doing before that are no longer serving you now, okay? So anyway, I hope that information was helpful. But again, you guys can go back and read that Bible verse yourself. And uh, as again, the Bible verse was Hebrews 6 and 10. And you can go read up a little bit more or read down a little bit more. I didn't have time to do that today. But I just want to get you guys this message. So I hope you guys, are. I hope this information was helpful for you. I hope it helped you to understand if you did have those dreams. And for those people who are about to find themselves experiencing a situation of just being around people who they think are their friends, this is divine spirit of light of just trying to show you basically like understand your self-worth, understand what you're worthy of, understand that you don't have to deal with somebody who's not really treating you fairly. You don't have to deal with somebody who's belittling you. You don't have to deal with somebody who says they're your friend, but then they're doing actions otherwise, like, you know, jumping in the car and leaving you and thinking that it's funny. Friends don't do that okay we've been thought we've been made to think that yeah that's funny it's a practical joke but the truth of the matter is true friends wouldn't really do that okay society has taught us to uh laugh and joke and brush it off like oh well you know we're just playing or whatever but again true situations of true friendships and godly relationships don't do that to each other so oh so I say all that to say, um, especially, you know, with people who are claiming that they're, I mean, it's one thing different to just kind of be the playful one within your family dynamic or your family circle, but, you know, just outside influences in a sense, because as they say, people show you who they really are through their actions, okay? So when they show you who they are, you either can accept what they're dishing out or you can take an exit stage left, okay? So anyway... Um, you guys stay blessed, stay beautiful. I wish you all much love. I wish you all peace and blessings. And I say, remember to always keep God first and foremost in your heart, mind, body, soul, and spirit until the next message. Bye.